If you think household robots are still 20 or 30 years away, this video may completely change your mind. Welcome to Future Drive Hub. Today, we are not talking about electric vehicles, not about robot access, and definitely not about a flashy, made-for-show robot demo designed only to go viral. Instead, what you are about to hear is one of the most detailed, grounded, and honest breakdowns yet of Tesla's humanoid robot, Optimus Gen 3. This is the product Elon Musk has repeatedly described as Tesla's most important creation, more important than electric cars and even more important than full self-driving. And that is not marketing hype. That is a statement rooted in how profoundly this technology could reshape everyday life. Our next generation has 22 degrees of freedom, Musk explained. It will be able to play the piano. So it's really like, wow. That comment may sound casual but it hints at something far bigger than entertainment. In just the last two years, Tesla Optimus has gone through three major design overhauls and four separate hand upgrades. It started as a shaky, barely functional prototype that many critics openly mocked. Today, it has evolved into a humanoid robot operating autonomously inside Tesla factories, performing real work in real environments. And now, it is entering a fully autonomous phase, meaning no remote control, no joystick operators, and no human quietly correcting the stakes behind the scenes. Most recently, Elon Musk confirmed that Optimus is approaching its official commercial release in the form of Gen 3. This version is designed to feature near-human-level dexterity, the ability to learn tasks simply by watching videos, and the capacity to work continuously for 8 to 10 hours on a single charge. Within the next two years alone, this machine has the potential to disrupt the global labor market in ways we have never seen before. So today, we are going to walk through three critical questions together. First, why is Optimus Gen 3 a real turning point rather than just another ambitious promise from Elon Musk? Second, what are the five core upgrades that allow it to outperform every humanoid robot currently on the market? And third, how is Tesla even able to manufacture this robot at a cost comparable to that of a used car? What has caused the entire tech industry to stop and stare is not just the robot's design or movement. Musk has publicly stated that Tesla can eventually produce Optimus at a cost of around $10,000. That number sounds almost unbelievable when you consider that most humanoid robots today cost anywhere between $150,000 and $250,000. In order to make it cost like, you know, ten dollars or $20,000, Musk said, you have to design it very differently from the start. With the Gen 3 version, Musk is confident that Optimus has crossed the critical threshold. It is no longer a semi-automated experiment. It is becoming a fully autonomous worker capable of performing tasks inside Tesla factories that were previously done only by human employees. This moment represents a genuine inflection point. A transition from robots that require constant supervision to robots that can function independently for long periods of time. To understand why Optimus Gen 3 truly matters, we need to be very clear about one thing. This is not just another iteration. It is not Gen 2 with better hands, and it is not Gen 2.5 with smoother walking. Optimus Gen 3 represents a structural shift from demonstration to deployment. Until now, every version of Optimus depended on some level of human involvement. Teleoperation was not a weakness. It was a necessity. Teaching a humanoid robot to operate safely and effectively in the real world is far more complex than making one move inside a controlled lab. Tesla recognized this early and deliberately chose a slow, data-driven approach. Gen 3 changes the equation. Elon Musk has stated very clearly that Optimus Gen 3 is designed to be fully autonomous. That means no remote operator stepping in when something goes wrong, no hidden safety net. The robot must perceive its surroundings, make decisions, and act entirely on its own. This single change unlocks everything else, including scalability, economic viability, and real-world usefulness. For years, Optimus was viewed as an experiment. Earlier versions could walk, lift objects, and perform basic factory tasks but behind every smooth movement was a human correcting errors and guiding actions. That limitation was not a failure of engineering. It was a realistic acknowledgement of how unpredictable the physical world is. 
Floors are uneven. Objects move. Lighting changes. Humans behave inconsistently. Teaching a machine to deal with all of that autonomously is one of the hardest challenges in artificial intelligence. Optimus Gen 3 marks the point where Tesla believes that challenge has crossed the critical threshold. The most important shift with Gen 3 is autonomy itself. Musk has stated plainly that this version is meant to operate without teleoperation. That transforms Optimus from a controlled machine into an independent agent. A robot that requires constant oversight cannot scale and cannot be economically viable. A robot that can independently understand and act within its environment becomes something entirely different. It becomes a worker in the literal sense of the word. Everything Tesla aims to do with Optimus depends on that distinction. Before we go further, if you are enjoying this deep dive and want to stay ahead of the biggest breakthroughs in technology, make sure to hit the subscribe button right now and turn on notifications. That way, you will never miss the next major update here on Future Drive Hub. Now let's continue. Autonomy alone, however, is not enough. A robot that can think but cannot be built at scale is ultimately irrelevant. This is where Tesla's strategy sharply diverges from most robotics companies. Musk has openly admitted that Optimus Gen 2 was extremely difficult to manufacture, and that admission reveals something important. Many companies can build impressive prototypes. Very few can design machines optimized for mass production from day one. Tesla's experience building millions of vehicles has deeply shaped how it approaches robotics. Optimus is not assembled from random off-the-shelf parts. Its motors, actuators, batteries, power electronics, and AI hardware are all designed in-house, with manufacturing constraints considered at every step. This vertical integration allows Tesla to realistically talk about producing Optimus at a cost of roughly $10,000 per unit. At first glance, that figure sounds unrealistic. But Tesla already manufactures the most expensive components of Optimus at massive scale for its vehicles. High-efficiency electric motors, advanced battery cells, AI computers, cameras, and sensors are not experimental technologies within Tesla. They are mature systems refined through years of real-world use. In many ways, Optimus is a recombination of technologies Tesla already knows how to build, rearranged into a humanoid form. Manufacturability also explains why Tesla has moved carefully rather than rushing to market. Each redesign of Optimus has not only improved performance, but also simplified assembly. Reducing part counts, integrating components, and improving durability all push the robot closer to something that can be produced by the millions instead of the dozens. Without this foundation, autonomy would be meaningless. Once manufacturing is addressed, the next major bottleneck is interaction with the physical world. This is where Optimus's hands become critical. Walking tends to dominate public attention, but locomotion is only part of the challenge. The real difficulty lies in manipulation. Human environments are built for human hands. Tools, door handles, switches, and everyday objects all assume a level of dexterity that most robots simply do not have. Optimus Gen 3 is expected to approach human-level manual dexterity with more than 20 degrees of freedom in each hand. This level of control allows Optimus to do far more than just grip objects. It allows the robot to interact with the world in flexible and adaptive ways. Tasks that were once considered unrealistic for robots begin to move into practical territory. Folding clothes, sorting items, handling fragile objects— and using tools designed for human fingers all become feasible. Musk has even suggested that Optimus could eventually play a musical instrument. The point is not entertainment. The point is precision and generality. A robot that can manipulate objects with human-like adaptability can function in almost any environment without expensive modifications. Dexterity alone is still not enough. Traditional robots are excellent at repetition but fail when conditions change. Tesla's solution mirrors its approach to self-driving cars. Instead of programming every task explicitly, Optimus is designed to learn from observation. Musk has confirmed that Optimus can learn tasks by watching videos, much like humans do. If a task can be visually demonstrated, it can potentially be learned. This fundamentally changes the economics of robotics. Historically, deploying robots required custom programming, 
long setup times, and controlled environments. Optimus replaces that model with one based on data and iteration. The more it observes, the more capable it becomes. Over time, its skill set expands instead of stagnating. This means Optimus improves after deployment rather than becoming outdated. It can adapt to new tasks through software updates and experience rather than costly reprogramming. Power and endurance are also crucial. A robot that needs constant recharging cannot compete with human labor. Optimus Gen 3 is expected to use Tesla's advanced battery technology, allowing it to operate for most of a workday. More importantly, it manages energy intelligently, using minimal power while idle and scaling usage dynamically when active. The ability to autonomously recharge itself without human help completes the system. When you combine autonomy, learning, dexterity, and endurance, Optimus stops being just a machine and starts becoming infrastructure. Something that can operate continuously in homes, factories, hospitals, and hazardous environments. The economic implications are enormous. Musk has suggested that Optimus could eventually be more productive than a human worker, not because it moves faster, but because it never gets tired, never needs breaks, and never forgets how to do a task. A robot price below $20,000 that can generate consistent value would pay for itself quickly and continue producing economic output for years. This is why Musk describes Optimus as a platform rather than a single product. Its addressable market is not limited to households. It extends across manufacturing, logistics, healthcare, disaster response, and beyond. In dangerous environments where humans should not work, autonomy is not a luxury. It is essential. Ahead of Tesla's upcoming financial reports, Musk announced that the company plans to begin selling Optimus in 2026. Internal deployments have already begun, with robots performing tasks such as battery handling inside Tesla facilities. Tesla plans to place thousands of Optimus robots inside its own factories first, refining performance and reliability before wider release. This strategy allows Tesla to gather massive amounts of real-world data and improve the system faster than competitors limited to controlled demos. Musk has estimated that long-term demand for humanoid robots could exceed 20 billion units worldwide, combining personal ownership with industrial use. While such projections should be viewed cautiously, they highlight the scale of Tesla's ambition. Musk has even suggested that Optimus alone could eventually push Tesla toward a multi-trillion dollar valuation. Whether or not those numbers are reached, one thing is clear. Tesla is not treating Optimus as a side project. It is designing it from the ground up to be affordable, scalable, and genuinely useful. If Tesla succeeds in producing a capable humanoid robot at around $10,000, the impact on the global economy and labor market will be historic. So now the question turns to you. If humanoid robots like Optimus become affordable and widespread, will they replace massive portions of the workforce, or will they simply free humans from the most repetitive and dangerous jobs? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching this deep dive here on Future Drive Hub. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss our next update. We will see you again very soon. Goodbye.